welcome back again good people it's your girl debbie shokoya as you all know me my name is debbie shokoya a beautiful wife to a fine young blessed man hence the name aya adetola and with me in the studio today <laughs> is a la cream babe yeah a la cream <laughs> babe she's a beautiful amazing talented let me emphasize on the word talented <laughs> actress go check her record <laughs> do you understand because this lady is good she's good at what she does her name is olaide adegiga Shijuade is my son. He is your son. I love me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Poki Poki. That's why I say Poki Poki. Is it Poki or Poki? Oh. Like a Poki. Poki. Like <laughs> what, what brought about the name Poki? Uh, it, it was one girl in school while I was in the university. She just, she actually opened my Instagram page for me and she said, let's just give you Lady Poki. And since then, really? I've been Lady. I don't like Lady Poki. <laughs> really, really amazing. Thank yeah. You. So, ah, Lady, I'm so happy that I have you here today because we are going to talk about a lot of things. Mm. We we'll shake table. We we'll shake table. <laughs> I'm not with you. On a lighter note. <laughs> but, Lady, so before we go into the business of today, I want you to tell us what your background looks like growing up moving into the industry how has it been how is the journey like up to this point um first of all let me introduce myself again my name is olaide adeiga i'm an actor mm -hmm. and a movie producer mm -hmm. more of a movie producer now mm -hmm. and then yeah I, I was born into a family of two okay um my dad died when i was seven so sorry about yes that. i'm from Condolence. a polygamous family my dad married five wives and five? dad <laughs> five wives yes and he also died at the age of 36 36 yes and he has five wives yes okay so yeah i grew up with just my mom because i mean before he died he was not really present like that yeah so i it was just my mom bringing up me and my younger sister so mm. yeah so you guys are two yourself and your younger sister yes ha, your dad <laughs> i don't want to go there anyway <laughs> but five wives uh, <sighs> okay so, um, what school, um, what school? Well, um, I, I studied theater at in Lagos State University. Okay. Last yes. And after I studied theater, at, I, I, I said to myself, you know what? This is really what I want to do. And I'm, I'm pursuing this. And yeah, I want it. We're on the path. Okay. <laughs> so, you went for an, uh, after theater art. Okay. Was it through the theater art you, you know, you went to study in school, then you were able to get into the movie industry? Yeah. Well, when I finished with school, I got someone um, to call me to come do a stage play at Muson Center, Echoes from the Lagoon. And after that time, somebody said to me, oh, I, I, you know what? I can help you. I feel like you do more when you go into the Yoruba industry. Mm. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then he introduced me to um, a very wonderful, talented director. He was also a producer, Abe okay. Jimo. Oh, and Abe then Jimo. that was how my journey started as an okay, actress. Okay, yes. okay. And it's been fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now tell me, of recent, um, you were one of the, you know, of the cast of a series. Yeah. Is it a series yeah, or series. a soap? Series, yeah. Okay, series on African magic. Yes, Itura. Itura. <laughs> And you played Queen Tenya <laughs> Day, the strong, <laughs> um, very, what am I going to even describe her as? Very, very, very wicked. Very, very wicked. wicked. Tenya Day, Tenya Day didn't <laughs> want anybody to just be there. She just wants to do it with her son. Yeah, that project was one of the projects i'm really really excited about mm. you know it's it's I, I met a lot of wonderful people amazing people i learned a lot on that set and i'm really grateful for that project mm. to be honest it's 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 great how are you able to get the script of um Itura? <sighs> well as an actor you should be able to interpret any role given to you so yeah i just did yeah, my job I, yeah i meant like how were you able to get the job how were you able to get yourself involved well in i saw the this put out something for an audition. Mm -hmm. And then I just, you know, did the five minutes video and sent it and I got a reply back from them. Wow. Yeah. Just like that. Just and like you got that. on that big project. I'm telling you. That's amazing. <laughs> and that's God's work. Yes, I God's know work. Side. You know. <laughs> yes. So now you're going to go a little bit into your personal life. <laughs> Is lightest single on my... Anyway, she doesn't look married to me anyway. <laughs> uh, how do married people look? <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, hey, okay, don't let me say she doesn't look married old. But I know. She's my I'm friend. I'm a single girl. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm single, but yeah. 
um maybe i'm in a relationship but it's classified yeah, in a relationship <laughs> i don't know what to talk about it all your mind oh yeah i don't know if i'm in a relationship <laughs> <laughs> like they is actually in a relationship but she's not saying it with all our wine because it's none of you people's business is it's it mine. is it is it is it because it's none of our business or because you're not sure is not to the way of okay we are going to get married yes or yes let, let me just put it that way we've okay. not you know got into that yes enjoying you are still enjoying mm-hmm. ourselves you're still so. enjoying the baby girl's life the flowers <laughs> because i know your type you will love yeah all those guys who say i love flowers. i love That's flowers love i love gifts mm. i love when my man shows me so much love mm. by sending me gifts and you know uh, diamonds I'm diamonds baby like yeah, well done. <laughs> See, you see, we like it today. We will all be smiling here to here. Now, like, the, let's talk about this Lagos guys. What's hmm. happening? Hmm. Why are these Lagos guys like this? Hmm. They are just showing ladies. Blah, 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 blah. What's happening? See, if you live in Lagos and you don't understand the ways of Lagos men, you are dulling my sister wherever you are. You know these men are not serious. They, eh? are, not, they are not. Is your man a Lagos man? <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah. Answer. Is, is, a, is a Lagos man, but you know, I shall look for a while. I shall ma. I shall ma. We shall the rough farm. We shall go the rough farm. Yeah, but you know, I I I just feel like there's no love in Lagos for me. That's no love in Lagos. Yeah, hey, people get married yeah. every time, but there's no love in Lagos. Lagos is, uh, is you know, hustle and bustle, everything, you know, that kind of vibe. What do you think the guys in Lagos? What do you think they want? I don't know. I don't know what they want. Oh, but you must have, you know, had but relationship I, with few of them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, everybody has different experience. Okay. My experience with men is different from the experience you have with men. But you know these are men. Ojuwo, baby con, their eyes they choke. Mm-hmm. So naturally as a woman, you need to have something doing. You need to you need to you need to be able to stand on your own because these days men don't want to be with women who are liability. Oh yeah. Do you understand? So as a woman you need something doing. So with or without a man, you are good. So you think the Lagos men are misbehaving because of um they get when they get themselves involved with women that are not busy? Is that why what you think? I mean, this men, I feel like you cannot satisfy them because I used to be in a relationship with um a guy that I felt I was going to end up with. We we were, I mean, five years into the relationship and, you know, this guy just, I found out that he impregnated somebody, had a child. And five years in the relationship? In the relationship. Uh, we, our parents already knew each other, you know, we were like, we're close to getting married and this guy just came back. He, I found out he had a child. Okay, cool, no problem. It's fine. Let's work it out. Your child is my child. Even though I, I, I feel betrayed that, yes. You know, he was even telling me, I don't want you to do this, acting this. And I was willing to give it up. You know, because I, one thing about me, I believe in happy ever after. Yeah. Because I feel like my mom didn't enjoy that. Hmm. She didn't enjoy that marriage thing. Because, I mean, my dad died when I was seven, like I said. Okay. You know, so I already had it in my mind that, yes, I really want to do this. I want to have my own family. I want to have that man that will be present in my life and my children's life. So I, if giving up the this, acting work. yes, was going to, is what is going to make me have it, then fine. But my dear, please do not give up your career or anything that you love for any man. Because regardless, who will stay? Hmm. Who will stay? If you leave, they will go. If you, if you don't leave, they will still go. Who wants to stay? will stay Mm -hmm. so you know i was willing to you know give it up and then before you know it this uh, is look i really do not even want to go too deep into it because it's it's a story that really hurts me because i'm a very trusting person and when i put my trust in you and you you just it really affected me in trusting people yeah so i really do not want to go into it but yeah just you just need to have something doing as a woman because that that's number one Man stay or man no stay or just have something doing because men they are weary. They be mm. weary. They, mm. they 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 no get sense. I will <laughs> say it with my full chest. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are, their their yeah. brain is in their blockers. Oh, no, wow. So somebody just stay like that. Bullet go knock. He go knock. You can't get everybody join. One person did something and you just pack all of them. All because of them. Because they all of them they act alike. How do you think? The, why do you think they have, are like? Why do you think so? Because I just feel like men just want to be everywhere. They just want to have everything. They want to mm. taste everything on that skirt. I mean, I know there are some men that are quite disciplined, but majority of them, 
animals they want. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we'll go there to where you said you were willing to, you know, have the, you know, collect, you know, the child and yeah. say, okay, it has happened, Abby. That's fine. Yeah. Let's move on. So what happened? Did he say no to it? Uh, he said no. That uh, when he told me, because when I found out, I just told him that you know what, I need few days to process this. Okay. To you know, and then after some days, I reach out back to him, and then he said to me that, "Oh, the days he needed me, I wasn't there, so he cannot work this out." How long was these days that you used to? Five, five days, my dear sister. Five days. Five days. And in that five days, you were and not there. I was not there. And I ended was. up begging for months. Mm. I, you I, are the one that begged someone that cheated on yes, you. Yes, because that I betrayed you. Yes, and I was like, because I was thinking like, oh, what would people say? We've been together for so long. There are people that don't don't even you know support our relationship. What would they think? You know all those things. I was really down. It really took me off. And then you remember, I said I was already leaving this acting thing because he doesn't want it. So. I was depressed, believe me, and I was broke as well because I gave him money as well. I sold the land that my father willed to me and gave him because he was deported from the UK. Eh? Eh? Kikiski! Ganga! No, no, no. We'll not do Kikiski. I want to guess that point. You sold the land that your father gave to you. Yes. You're a rich girl. I'm not rich. (laughs) <laughs> Let me understand. Why did you sell that land? Because I'm like, okay, this is the person I'm sell- I'm spending the rest of my life with. If I mean Tojubati, Ojuti Mini, because for me, I'm I, I, me. I saw somebody, one of my colleagues, come on your show and say, "Oh, she cannot do 50 I can do fifty fifty with my man. I feel like if you're my partner, we're, we're partners because we're supposed to support each other. Mm-hmm. When you can't do, I'm there. When you can do, you know, you know, we can come together and do this. So I feel like a man or Queen Tobali Chef when because I wouldn't lie that he has not come through for me, but he come through for me, that and you know this person you're talking about. Yes, that okay. Came through yes, for me. I mean my first passport, he did it for me. I didn't have a passport when I met him. Oh, she passport for me. <laughs> <laughs> so he did passport for you. No, th- at that time I was quite naive. So it was it was so much it, it was it was me thinking, oh, if somebody can do this kind of thing for you, ah, this pe- person must really love you. This person must, you know? And then, you know, it's, it's straight. See, money is not one of the reasons you should stay. It's one of the reasons. Uh, uh, oh, we were very, very important. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> you know, but for me, I don't think money is not, when you meet me, I'm, I'm based on, okay, if you're, if you're generous, mm-hmm. some people will come to you and give you money and then on the long run, they'll stop. But when you meet a generous man, he's a generous person. And I really appreciate that. So I feel like, okay, yeah, this person is in trouble. Why can't I come through for you as a girlfriend? Since we're spending the rest of our lives together and you're going to give me my money back, you know? That's why I did it. Ashe, I'm a mumu. I don't have sense. You know? She said, she, she, but don't, she don't, said I'm a mumu. But don't get it wrong. I still have that, that belief that I, I, I can do 50-50 with my man. I can. I'm... I, I don't have so a problem. So you can support your man. Yes, you, I can. You I can, can share school fee. I can, can share school fee. No, maybe I would borrow him, but he will return it. But I will still. Okay, give what him if he doesn't give it back? But you. Eh, she bomo ano la shefu. She bile wa no la shefu. An shefu ra wani na ama bo ashira ra wa so that our. No, 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 no. I'm, 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 I'm supporting what you're saying. Yes, That's why I'm like. Yes, because, because toju bati o komi oju ti mi noni. Toju bati mi oju ti o komi noni. So yeah, we should support each other. It's my partner. Why are we partners? But do you know why some people do not support um, their husband? Because why? they believe that. They believe in the in some people's head. I can say it. I'm so very sure that. Oh, this, yeah, this, yeah, no, they, no, it's not about that. It's because hey, after everything, if I do it, you will still leave me and go and cheat. Well, I believe in respect. Men will always be men. My own is just respect me and don't let me know that you're doing it. Mm. Because what you don't know, they say, cannot kill you. Mm. Oh, le shokuni, toba shokuni, you just, you just kill yourself. So just respect me enough to, you know, just respect me and don't let me know. Don't let me see any sign. Come home when you're supposed to come home. Have fun with your friends. Do what you, don't disrespect me. That's it. Mm. So, Lady, you're giving us this side that I don't have a problem with my man cheating. Just respect me. Just, see, men will always be men. There are men that don't cheat, oh. And I pray to have one, to get one that doesn't cheat. Yeah, but if it happens, just don't let me know. If you don't know, if you don't know, how will you know it's cheating? You don't know now. I don't want to know. Don't let me know. Respect me. Don't disrespect me. Don't do anything that will come and destroy our family. That's respect. 
Shoshia, to have a enjoy yourself. Yeah, do what you want to do, but don't bring it to the family. Don't ruin our family. Keep it there and let it end there. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So if I now start thinking, oh, I don't want a man that will cheat. I don't want, I will just wound myself, to be honest. <laughs> Lady, you're, you're, you're sounding like someone that has been through stuff in relationship. Ah, my house has seen shake. Tell me one of this shake. Ah, now, what did they do? Oh, do me to read <laughs> What did they do? Aside from you selling the lab, because that's crazy, man. You sold your... Your father's land uh, will to you for no, a that, man. That, that, that's just it. One time and it's never going to happen. Because when, <laughs> after that, I met some men that would say, oh, please, can you just send me some money? When my boss reimbursed Hello? me. Hello. Oh, Lily, she she me, but I've not eaten since yesterday. <laughs> I don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, bro. You can't get another, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've just, I've just, for me, I just believe so much in actions. I've just met men that... They just do a lot of talking, talking, talking. Oh, I love you. And, but I don't see it. They don't show it to me. So when I don't see it, I just walk away and don't waste my time. Okay. I'd rather be single than be with somebody that will just be stressing me out. Yeah. And my relationship is new anyway. I feel like when you talk about it, you're just going to ruin it. So I don't want to talk about it. Anymore. No, no, no. I'm not going to talk about your relationship <laughs> because I, I've been begging you. Like, day, like, day, please, now. Nah, this, this is me giving this relationship a chance. And I hope it works out. And if it doesn't, it will work out by God's grace. It's not destined to be married. But do you know that when you see the man you know, I hope you know this. That when you see the one, there's just something about them. Like, you just know that. Yeah, my mom says that, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I've not felt see it. Yeah, don't go there. <laughs> Tell me, have you? I've been through, I, because you sound like someone that's been through stuff in relationship. Obviously, yeah. you just talked about a man cheating, you know, impregnating somebody, hmm. and all of that. Have you been through any relationship of domestic violence? Has it ever happened? Yes. You see, you know what I asked that question because. She, she sounds like someone that has been through stuff in relationships. So yes, tell me, tell me about yes. it. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's it's so deep. It's so deep too. In fact, oh my god, like they, I just sometimes I just always feel like I when it comes to men, I just always pick the wrong ones. When I was younger, now this person that used to you know beat me that time, I was quite young. And uh, I met this person. I was a virgin when I met him. And then, I mean, you know me now. Pe -pe 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 -pe, everybody feels like, oh, this girl, she's not a virgin. Mm -hmm. But me, I was a virgin. So when it got to the time when we were supposed to, you know, do this thing, this guy slapped me. No, the, the first time, slapped me and said to me, oh, I have to do I'm like, no, because I have this thing in my head that, if you want, it, somebody can die if you want to disverging them. So I was like, you need to relax. I need to take my time. Calm down. Let me take my time. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to do it again. And then it kept on happening like that. From blow to having black eye. My mom got us arrested to separate us. It was that bad. And then he ended up doing it. He ended up, in fact, uh, it's very traumatic. He ended up doing it. But he beat me before he could do it. And this beating went on. And then after he did it, we said, okay, let's just, I felt like, okay, because he wanted to do was why it was like that. Afterwards, he would ask me, okay, so after I've done it with you, is there somebody else that has done it with you? And I'm like, no, and I was like, if you don't want me to beat you, you have to lie. And I'm like, okay, okay, it's Femi. Femi, bah, 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 he will beat me, stitch my head. I'll stitch my head, do all sorts of things. And I, when I left, I said to myself, I would never allow any man raise their hand. If I'm with you and you raise your voice at me, I'll leave. Because from raising your voice, you can start touching me anyhow that I don't like. And I don't want that. <laughs> my body is too precious. If anybody beats me right now, I can die. <laughs> I would, you know, so yeah. I've been through it with men. I'm trying to make it sink. Yeah. So, so the thing here is when he wants to make love to you. He would beat me. He would beat you. Because I'm... You're, you're stiff. Stiff, like no, I don't no, want no, to no, do no. it. I don't want but to do I, it. Why you were saying it, it sounded like it's not even about you being stiff anymore. It's about this guy. I think he enjoys it when it's being violent. Because you say even when you don't cheat, you say you need to lie. So I'll get angry so I yes, can eat yeah, you. Like so you have to say fair me and will eat you. My mom was so sad. She looks at me and says, why, why are you doing this to yourself as a child? Why are you, like, why are you doing this to yourself? I'm going to be very close with my children. Like They would be able to tell me anything because... 
maybe if I was extremely, yeah, my mom is an amazing woman. Yeah, but you know, African home now, you cannot yeah. really, if I had somebody I could discuss with and tell like, this is what is happening, you know, maybe things would have been different. So I'm going to really, really be close with my, with my, with, with my kids. Hmm. And I, some, sometimes I feel like these things affect me when I meet somebody new and I just by myself ruin things because I feel like they're all the same. <laughs> you know, it affects me. Yeah, but... But why didn't you walk up to your mom to tell your mom about it yourself? Yeah. Because like it, you said, now fact, your mom was the one that came through and separated It you was guys. my friend that went home to report me to my mom. I said, How did your friend know? <laughs> of course, she's my friend. I'll give her this now. When I go home, I'll tell her, I fell down on Okada. I did this, I did that, I did that. So my friend went home and told my mom that mom is a lie. She didn't fall down. It's this boy that is doing this, that is doing that. In fact, his friends were even advising me, like, you have to leave this person. You are too beautiful for this person to be doing this kind of thing to you. Stop it. I felt I was in love. What's love? I felt you were in love. I felt I was in love. We were collecting At beating. a very, very young age. Thinking, Black eye. You know, beating me or not slap her. I shake giddy gong, giddy go, giddy go, quack, 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 quack. Oh, no, And he me. will still make love to and you. And he will. <laughs> he will. He, because me, I'm a very, very stubborn person. What I'm not doing, I'm not doing. So even with the beating, I'll still say I'm not doing. So, you know. There's going to be so we'll just leave me, but then now, Mumatini, Boya, Etemiti, Bell, something, something, you know, all those kind of things. Yeah, but eventually he had his way, right? He, he, he had his way. <laughs> it is well, yeah. it is well. That's one of those things because, like I said, you were sounding like I was like, like, right there. I think there's so much and going I feel on like there. I'm a better person now, like, yeah, you know. Now I can talk about it, so mm -hmm. you know it's 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 good that I can talk about yeah. it. I, I couldn't talk about it for a long, long time. Long time. Yes. Yeah, so I'm healed. Like sometimes I see him when when I go to visit my mom, I see him and I'm like, did I even really did I did I date this guy? <laughs> <laughs> what? Gosh. I'm not even proud to tell anybody. Allow this kind of person do that kind of thing to me. Yeah. You know. So yeah. Yeah, you're way better than. So, hello. <laughs> yeah. I get it. So, I just feel like men generally, uh, the, whatever you allow them to do is how they will just take you. So, what point are you right now with relationship and how you want your relationship to be? Like I said, I'm working on myself and I'm better because I feel like most of my most of my breakups is from me because I'm overthinking things. I'm I'm an overthinker. I'm overthinking things. Ah, this person is going to turn out like this. Let me just run away before they before they do their own. Let me do this. Let me do that. Yeah, but now I'm just trying to relax. Like they, this is real life. Everybody can't be the same. Try to know this person and, you know, try and work it out. If it's, if it's somebody you can manage, if it's somebody you can, you know, work things out with, then, yeah. What is your kind of guy? My kind of guy. <laughs> well, me, I don't go for looks, so I don't, Oh, really? I don't go for looks. I just like people who are kind. Just be a kind person. Uh, don't I'm tell me you don't go for looks. Fine girl, like you, you tell me you don't go for looks. So you don't mind. So far you are kind. Shall I come? If any well, other if you are. Yes, if you're a kind. See, you any can, other you are like You can be. Yeah. Are you truthful right now? Anyhow you are, just be kind. Just you come. You can be fine and don't have sense. Hey, but what about not the be kind. tall, cheesy chest? Okay, funny enough, I don't like tall guys. Yet one call. You like them short? Not short. Maybe my height. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm not really into tall. You have to be tall. I don't even like guys that go to the gym and build. And that's not my spec. I just just be just be a kind person. Be God fearing. That's that's my kind of person. When, you know when you talk to people and you get to know them, I say, oh, this person is very very cool, calm. I don't like guys who talk too much. Mm. I don't like my man to be on social media. Mm. My <laughs> so you don't want to plant your man. You don't man want us to see not, your man. My man is never on social media. That's why you don't want us to see this <laughs> present before <laughs> now. Abba. You're not even getting photo. You, get to act <laughs> <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have his picture. I don't have you his guys picture. don't take pictures together. We don't. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> <There's> like, <laughs> no? Please tell me, has anybody snatched your husband in that industry? Why are you all... Guiding and they guiding. Can't, they can't snatch my husband. Oh, yeah. They can't. Uh, yeah. yeah, trust me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the word, the word snatch, I don't believe it. Yeah, like it's only somebody that wants to be taken that will be taken now. She understands. There's nothing like snatch. There's nothing like snatch. It's what do you mean that you snatch that man? Snatch who? It's not a biscuit. Neither yeah. is he a toy. Do you understand? That's a brain. <laughs> he went to meet a woman. The woman liked him and dated him. So, yeah. what is snatch? It's a, a, a two adults having something no, together. Mind people, they like to talk. 
Rubbish. Uh, the social media, they can't. Twist. How are you handling this social media space? Because this day is quite toxic. Me? No. I just go on social media to post myself or anything that has to do with work and I exit. I don't because I'm a very, very soft person mentally and I mm-hmm. feel like ah, social media is, especially Instagram, is too, I don't even do Twitter like us. I don't, you don't I don't do, do uh, even TikTok. I just started doing TikTok and I don't even visit there as much, you know. So I just go there, do what I have to do, and leave. Because when I start seeing some news and some things, it just really affects me. And uh, because I'm this type of person that when I'm with you, your mood affects me. If you're sad, okay. I, I can just be. You react to energy. Around yes, you. yes. So when I go on social media and I see that things are this way, it affects me and I start to relate. Oh, this person did this to me and I start to remember. Oh, blah, blah. so because of that, I just my mental health is very important. I just mm-hmm. exit, do what I have to do and leave. Mm-hmm. I don't let it bother me. People, things happen on social media and I find out four days later. I'm like, ah, where was I when all these things <laughs> were happening? You know, people will say, Did you see? I'm like, Did I see what? I'll go and check. I will not find the news again. <laughs> it's, been, it's been removed. So, has anyone told you on social media? No. No one has come for you in your comment section. Oh, so. they do that some sometimes. People are just silly. I I delete or block. Yeah. In hey, fact, if I come people, if eh? I come under your post and I see someone say something, I block the person just in case you see me one day. I want to write Let something that don't tell like. You won't just that. <laughs> you see this block association people that you are blocking. Sure, you know that you are not happy about it. I know. I was going on the street of Instagram. I think yesterday or today, and see Messi premiered a movie yesterday. So I was just looking at the the press, the blogs, and everything posting them, and I saw some comments in the comment section. Some people saying, ah. This one, she go watch a movie herself. Percy, we don't use and block everybody. We won't watch movie. I'm not they like, play. are you proud <laughs> to say it? That you were blocked for interfering to something that does not have anything, anything to, to do, do with, with you. you. I mean, people are just really crazy on, 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 on this social media. People that when they see you in, in person, they can't even talk to you. They just come online and say trash. I don't even let it get to me because... I don't let it get to me. Your all mental the, health. Yes, I don't. All those kind of things it doesn't bother me. They're just talking. I mean, do you know how many people we have in the world? Mm. Do you know how many people we have in Nigeria that you think because only you, because I blocked you, because of only <laughs> just you, people will not watch my movie? You must be joking. <laughs> you must. You know those kind of things are funny to me. It's just it's, you know. I saw it. I'm like, see. So uh, one even said, eh, my fellow people that they block. Oh yeah, comment. Uh, how did they use it? Let's don't let's mind. queue here. Don't and people were just them. replying. I was like, are you them. proud? People are really going through a lot. Are of you the proud about it? The only place where they have wings is on, on Instagram. Social media. Yes, they are going through a lot. If you see them, did you see that um, Funky Akidele's movie? Which one? She. Abhi she. Her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw she. Did, did Did you see? People are sad when you go to where they live safe dirty trashy but they'll come online because they have 2k subscription whatever they come online and talk trash and then you allow people like that get to you really no mm. come on it's not worth it it's not worth it yeah it's not at all so now let's go into the industry <laughs> please what's going on with the industry what's friendship like in there like i i, I expect <laughs> us do you watch um real housewife of lagos it's too toxic you don't watch it because i feel like we should have something like a real housewife of no lagos i'm a paramount Eh? Eh? Want them to beat themselves. Ah, <laughs> this one is deep. Real housewife of the industry. No. Well, I'm going to have you there. I'm never if going I'm to going come to start there something like because that. I will end up crying. I don't like people. You will cry or you will fight. I, Which one? I'm not going to fight. I will just stay away. But mm. to my because goes. me, like I know that you, I know you can be quite emotional. But I just know that you can have I that like side of. Yes, I like to stand up. I don't like people who try to bully me. Don't bully me. My trial to bully. If you try to bully me, I'll come for you. Don't bully me. Do your own thing. Let me do my own thing. I feel like industry is another world on its own. Mm-hmm. And if you can survive in the movie industry, you can survive this this world or this <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> because ah, I give Respect. to them. A lot of people that will not like you that will that will not like you and they will be the one to comment, oh, my love, my sweet child. So, with the industry, like, I just feel like friendship in the industry, like, what's going on with the friendship in the industry? Why is it not working? Because I expect, honestly, I expect that we can we can have a... Okay, what about me thinking that I just want to get away with the girls? 
do you understand? I see, I see the English speaking side of the Nollywood. Some of these ladies there, they do it. The Yoruba side of the Nollywood, I've not seen I, it. I feel like they do it and they have issues, but we never know. But Yoruba actors, we just, I don't know, I like Asheon. We just <laughs> like drama. Because because you're talking, they are in English, you know, one eating one, like they do their stuff, they fight, they have disagreements, and we don't know. But this, our own Yoruba, I don't know what the problem is. I, I feel like social media is one of the things that's like, adding to our problems because we just want to we feel like oh I'm, I'm woke and i want to come out and drag my fellow actors and blah 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 you know and to be honest they're amazing people i have amazing friends in the industry yeah it's just that there's boundaries in life there should be boundaries good friends good people you're one of them mm. Thank yeah you. I'm <laughs> yeah good people you know but like i said boundaries yeah. boundaries is very very important very and i feel important. like we Yoruba people we don't understand boundaries we don't when you say they don't understand boundaries how, how how do they come for each other boundaries you know when to stop when everybody knows their gauge okay yeah, their gauge. Gauge. and then we we tend to just say oh eh, friend 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 we just use that word anyhow you're my colleague doesn't make you my friend hmm. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Why do you want to know personal things about me? Let's mm-hmm. talk about work and you know, just sometimes if we want to go for dinner, let's go for dinner. And it ends there. Except if I outstretch to you, right? And I feel like, oh, in the long run, this person is a good person. Okay, I want this person to be close to me. So, you know, when you stay on your own, I stay on my own. Ah, ninja. We can disagree when it comes to work because, you see, Arema Jani could like, we disagree. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Basically, it's just boundaries. Just know your place let me know my place no, yeah. uh, uh, i get your point because i look at the industry i just be like ah. whenever i watch real of earth of lagos i'll be like ah let me just start something like this and put all the addresses ah. <laughs> <laughs> why are you like ah ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> not to shake nigeria no <laughs> you want to break what no, no. <laughs> like, they will just see us finish because i feel like they're already really dragging we your back actors they drag us online on a on a reg even we we drag ourselves and I, that's one thing i don't like we i like we, we, when we ourselves were dragging ourselves and throwing shades on uh, on our um throwing shades at ourselves on social media how do we expect people who love us who care about us to react mm. it, it doesn't make any sense you can trash whatever you're you're you know dealing with or what behind social media you can call me on my phone and talk to me mm-hmm. oh you did this thing to me i don't like it oh yeah i'm sorry i i did this thing but why come on social media to you know say you, you know, know i wonder i i look at this thing sometimes and i'll be like please why is it that they can't just you know call themselves help if there's an issue call the person go to their team for me any if i have a friend and you come online and drag me you're not going to be my friend again forever and ever we're not going to talk again because that's extreme you have my phone number. You have my house address. If maybe you don't have my house address because a lot of people don't know where I live. But you know, you have my phone number. Why can't you call me up and speak to me? Why do you have to come on social media to talk about it and wash our dirty linen outside? Mm-hmm. It doesn't make any sense. And you expect us to still settle and still be friends? Mm. No. That means you, if you know deeper things about me, you come online and say it. You know, I feel like these people that, you know, come on social media when they have issues with, you know, their colleague, I feel like it's them trying to create attention for themselves because I don't think it's right. You have an issue with your colleague. Let's not even say friend. You you know that friends even drag themselves <laughs> on social media. So we are talking about colleagues now that you can always, if you don't have the person's number, I'm sure you have a colleague number that has that person's number and call the person what's up what's that about you did this you did that don't come on social media i feel like going back and forth means you want attention and that's why this audience they see us in a different light in a different light actors are human beings like them where human beings is what you can do that i can do i'm not a super human yeah so I, I i don't like the fact that when people just come online and come and say something they just judge and say oh this year yeah british this year yeah, yeah. Well, human beings too our nikabara we our starts from us before we cannot start blaming people who are out there we need to caution ourselves because if you don't come out and come and wash our dirty in your house i don't think these people will have the right to talk about and that's why i really don't want to put my personal life on social media to be honest because there's no love out there Mm. Don't worry. Do you know the one that busts my brain the most? On blogs, when they carry an address news or something, I see some of your colleagues commenting. Mm-hmm. 
How do you feel commenting? I don't know. I, I really don't Are you know. trying to create enemy for yourself with this person? I'm not saying don't have your opinion. As a matter of fact, me, I feel like, see, we are already this, um, uh, uh, I, I have the right to my opinion. You guys are getting it wrong. I have the right to your opinion to yourself. Oh. Don't have to come and talk your about it. Your opinion is not needed on that blog. Oh, I feel like it's really not needed. Because we are, we, are, we are misusing things. We are misdoing things. I don't understand how to even put it. Because I get to see it and I be like... What is going through your mind? And then you see it from people that you speak to that when they see you, they argue and say, Oh, my love, you are the sugar in my tea. <laughs> they are the ones. They that are is. the ones that will comment on that. Day. There's no love in the industry. There's no love there's in the n- industry. There's no love. There's no love. Hmm. Just do your thing and, 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 and leave. leave. You can make your friends outside and keep it. Oh, you're my colleague. Oh, yes, let's work. Let's and, and leave. Hmm. Me, I just feel like so ladies. the Tamama will go to the coast to town in Marley Rico can really walk. <laughs> Is that your first switch for me? <laughs> because me, I just feel like, please, now let's be saying these ladies get away, you know, do stuff together. Do you know that ladies can actually come together and do a business together? You can say men, not ladies. Ah, women, 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 we have problems. <laughs> 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 women, we have a, men. That's a, yeah, maybe if you comment, come and say, I'll, I'll source band of, of uh, the industry. It can work out. It can work but, out. But we actually have something like um, Afri make already now. And by that's why it's working. By, yeah. It's working. Let women. I want to start my own. Let Afri women. Afri we do something. You, will, you, you myself, I and all you, this. Mioche, you will cry blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, you, myself, and other ladies, we inside, are doing inside it. Inside that Afri woman. Do you see different click? <laughs> different click. No, don't, don't. It's not going to work. Oh my no, God. generally in life, apart from even the industry, women, we never always agree with mm-hmm. each other. We always say, oh, I'm more than you, you're more than me, or this. It's I'm about the past uh, Yes, I'm about... this, I'm that, yeah. So it's, it's not going to work. Mm-hmm. They'll come and see who speaks the best English. English and and who, no, it doesn't who is work. classy. It, who does, is... it does not work. It will never work. Uh, it's like it will not, but it can actually work. It it does not work. Okay, fine. Maybe that's past. If we have the same mindset, it can work. But on the long run, it's just <laughs> <laughs> you're not positive at all. <laughs> you're not positive. These <laughs> ladies have <laughs> showed you shake uh, <laughs> because the way you are saying you are speaking for personal experience. Okay, it cannot work. No, uh, what did they do to you? No, uh, well, I'm not a perfect person. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I'm a I'm like a villain in another person's story too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are not perfect, but you know, people, me, for me, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm somebody who is always willing to change. When I do something wrong, I, I always just say, you know what? Yes, I fucked up and I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people don't even know how to say sorry. They just say, eh, Moshe, Moshe, no, yeah. So because of that kind of attitude, things like that can't work. And before you can get people who say, oh, yes, sorry, sorry, you're in our industry. Oh, man, everybody wants to believe, yes, I'm. I'm uh, uh, by for you and I'm, I'm right because I'm older than you. I'm right. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that don't will not even allow it to work. So you have not had any personal experience with anyone about any issue in the industry. You just ah uh-uh. ah, why would I not? Oh yeah, tell us now. No, oh, what have we? Ah, 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 okay, you want to bring it on social media? You want to come out and say <laughs> no? We want we, to do it on I've podcast. I've had differences with you know some yeah. people, and we worked it out, and okay. we we're good. Okay. And I and I make sure that that kind of thing will not you know repeat itself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, that's 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 really nice. Yes. So all you do, you you do you have any other talent aside from acting and what do you do? Well, I love to sing, but it's not yet a profession. And I'm not singing you, for you. Then you, you love don't... to sing. Please, you're going to sing for me. Uh, no. Anybody that comes on this show and say, I love to sing. We need to hear your word. Let us know if it is a don't career worry, that will I support will, you. I will still produce please. a movie. You A movie called Song. When please, I produce it, you sing. will hear please, my voice. Like they like sing. Like they sing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't be so like you don't want us to hear your voice. But do you know me? I've heard your voice before, and I know you have a very beautiful voice. Yeah, but not. But why don't you want to own up to this music, this song thing? Because being an actress is not, it's not easy. People feel like it's one easy thing. Oh, I want to be an actor. I see people come into my DM and say, "Ah, oh, please, ma, please, ma." Any attack by Jimmy Lawrence? Ah, please, ma. I want to be. It's not easy. This acting job comes with people thinking, "Oh, you have to be perfect." You, I'm. I can be broke and people just assume, oh, ah, this was the actress, no, 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 no,
I will not go inside me. <laughs> ah, no, I don't have the energy. So you you go broke like there are yeah. times that you're not really yes i go broke like a, every other human and being we see you broke, guys with the go. shoe and bags with the outing and everything uh, you, 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 know, you, money. you can't tell us that you're broke presently i'm broke <laughs> <laughs> as i speak <laughs> oh, she, oh, when you're me. Uh, so you said perfect what do you mean about perfect like people wanting you to be perfect yes now because they feel uh, don't you see people come on social media and come and bash actors oh mm-hmm. this one those are the things they do they do it and they, because you're an actor and you do it so i feel like it, it affects me because when i want to go out and you know go to some places i feel like ah i need to look a certain way i need to look like this because people will be like oh she's an actress yeah she be ah, what is she? Yeah, what is she? you know so they expect us to be a certain way because you're an actor you have mm. to look your hair has to be this your I see some people comment. I see this actress. See her hair as it be like sponge. <laughs> yeah. Why? <laughs> if you you can wear sponge, why can't an act- actress wear ah, sponge? That was deep. If you can wear sponge, of course because there are people who wear. We are human. Yeah. Yes. Do you understand? So I, I just feel like they just there's this way they look at us and it gives me so much problem. So mm. I'm just this kind of person that like to be in my show. When it's time to work, I work and I go back into my show and I like to party. You like to party? Oh, like really? Party. Like to... <laughs> the, 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 the. <laughs> so tell me with this um acting thing and your relationship thing. Do you feel this acting because now you said you're not married? Is it just the experience you had with relationships? That's why you're still taking your time with marriage, or is it that this acting thing is also because I I see some people say that ha. Huh, being an actress, eh, it can be very difficult to find husband. Yes, to, because to find... these men feel like, oh, you're an actress. Everybody's looking at you. Everybody wants you. They can't trust you mm. because you're you're just out there. I'm doing my job. If you see me kissing a man on screen, doesn't mean I have any personal relationship with him. I'm doing my job. You know. So I, yes, I had somebody b- break up with me because. I mean, I did like a scene that I was kissing, and, and it was like, I don't think I can continue with this. But you met me an actor. He met you an actor, and, uh, and he said, Yeah, he uh, yeah, 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 touched your bum bum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Okay, Uncle Baba, no problem. Oh. Wait, he, he, no, he met you as an actor. Yes. I'm sure you must have seen a movie whereby you have kissed before coming to meet you. And now you're kissing in a movie, he's having movie an and issue. Saying, oh, this guy why is he touching you this and i'm like i'm sorry <laughs> what's happening here i'm doing my job say no this is beyond this is beyond the job the way this guy is touching you i know he has person if you uncle tio bashe let everybody be going he told him that and he said okay cool yeah he cannot work and then everybody went on their separate ways like mm-hmm. i said earlier i will never leave my job for any man i've done well, i've tried to, to do it before. before but it's never going to happen i was a child that time now i'm I'm a grown ass woman, so I will never do that for hmm. anyone. Not even so you didn't mind the relationship going south, like a man who loves you is not will support you when you see a man that loves you. Ha Debbie. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. When you see a man that loves you, he'll support everything that you do. Hmm. So I don't need to come and start saying creating excuses and saying, Oh, uh, maybe maybe I did the way into you touch my bumble, maybe it's too much. No, it's not going no to point. work. If it's not working now, it's not going to work at all. So mm. let everybody go there. I said, there's no need for us to be wasting our time. Mm. Yes. Mm. So you feel like um, this, you know what you want. I know not what I exactly want. Exactly with yes. what you have said. So if this man, this is me, this is all of me. I'm sure that a man that loves me will mm. take the whole of me. In fact, my mistakes will be like a, I'm perfect. <laughs> can you act nude in a movie? I can portray nudity. I cannot... If you can portray nudity, okay, what do you mean by you can portray nudity? If I'm tying a towel, my bra is under, my pint is under. Uh-uh, that's nothing now. Anybody can do that. Okay, can she be barale? Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm My dear. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Ah, this is really a rock. My wife is really. Oh, Kim, Kim, Joe, Debbie, Joe, Toriyo, Long. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> you know you are very funny. I know sometimes I can be me, 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 me. She knew the thing. I just feel it. I feel, and I feel like when when I get married, I want to be more of a producer than an actor. 
Oh, okay. Yes. This is a personal decision that you already have now. Yes, even I want before to be. Uh, yes, I want to be. I want to be more of a producer than an actor. Okay, are you yes. working on that already? Yes, I'm working on it. Uh huh. How many movies have you produced now? Mm, about four. Four titles. Um, Untamed, it's okay. on Show Max, it's an English movie. On, on Show Max, yes. Okay, um, Janet Jacobs, that was actually my first production when I got into okay. the industry. Um, Babalola, it's a short film, okay. And then I produced one which is going to be released very soon, Bashiero. Oh, okay, that's nice. Oh, this one is coming very soon. Coming very so soon. So, guys, look out for Bashiero, Bashiero. by Olade Adeiga. Thank you, Olade. I said it right now. Olade. That's what Lola Lola <laughs> sorry. Sorry about that. Olaide yeah. So guys, look out for that. Thank um, you. thank you so much. You're it's welcome. really, really amazing. I've been enjoying this chat and I don't want us to stop. <laughs> just, and I'm telling all the ladies in the industry, please, um just help me manage to change this belief of Lide that she believes you guys cannot stand yourself. Hey, let's stand around you, motor Ah. Ah. <laughs> please help us work on it we want to be seeing this group this um this you know this junior ladies hangar ladies vacations and all of that we want to see it we want to see you guys do business together there's nothing bad in all these things that because they work <laughs> she's still on it that be because they work they <laughs> work <laughs> okay <laughs> Thank oh you God, so much. Welcome, Thank you so much. But welcome. before we go, what are you going to tell, you know, tell the ladies, you know, the one looking forward to, you know, coming into the industry, the ones that I can't tell they will love you. Well, what I'll say to you is, no, no matter the time, you're going to get there. Don't let anyone deceive you and tell you, oh, uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll help you. I'll help you to mm -mm. do the work, do what you can do. And be patient. You get there. Everyone has their time. Calm down. You get there. That's mm, my own. That's deep. Thank you so much You're for welcome. that. Thank you. So, guys, we have come to the end of the show today with Olaide Adeyiga. So, guys, please, 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 please. You heard everything she has said. She has shared her experience with us. Quite touching. Quite emotional. Don't let any man handle you like that, please. Ah. Hmm. Ha. Why she was saying it, I was trying to hold myself not to cry because that was too extreme. Why? Why should we be like that? Don't put yourself in that kind of situation. Guys, so I'll be leaving now till I come your way. Please do not forget to like, comment, share to your friends and family. It's important. Let them watch the show. It's information is key you know right because celebrities are coming here they are talking about your story don't just stay and say oh i'll get there one day listen to people that have been there they've been there they've done that and pick from what you know what they have done for themselves so far and i'm sure you're going to make good use of it and you'll come out better i'm sure so guys make sure you like comment share to friends and family click on the subscribe button and put on your notification so you'll be the first to be notified when we drop this episode and you already know this show is proudly sponsored by the pls tv the pls studios and my face glam was done by ajeta milari outfit from army collections on instagram and start by unique underscore trans Till I come your way, same time next time. Love you and God bless you guys. Bye.